Hey guys, this is Charlie. It is the 12th of May, uh, Tuesday. 148 points, I believe, is what the Dow closed up today. Um, it shows that the stick and carrot technique of the uh, oligarch world bankers um, still is in full effect and uh, is still a viable business model for them. You know, we, we have an emergency in late 2008, and the stick is them tanking the stock market by 700 points in one day so they can have unlimited access to our treasury and future wealth of this nation. Um, and it worked so well here that when the bankers needed to get paid off, the European bankers, because they're holding um, insolvent Greek debt, the same exact technique is used. They crash the euro, um, our stock market uh, tanks, and then we have a world rescue plan. You know, sovereign nations around the world do not want to participate in it. And even now the United States is involved in bailing out uh, the European banks. And let me make that very clear. The European banks are what got bailed out. Not Greece, not Italy, not Ireland, not Spain, not Portugal, not the citizens of those nations. It's the banksters holding the debt of those nations. They will be made whole um, on the backs of the citizens of those nations. And I know people are going to say the Greeks are living beyond their mean. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Um, it, they're criminal politicians uh, in cahoots with uh, banksters lured them into making these promises to their citizens. My point is the banksters are going to get paid in full up front and the debt will be flung on to the citizens of whatever nation um, is going to implement austerity measures. Now, here in the U.S., we're being told that all this was for Main Street. We needed to save Wall Street, and uh, look how well it's working. The economy is returning. Well, in the midst of all this credit crisis going on around the world, sovereign debt crisis going on around the world, a couple things are happening. One, nobody, uh, hardly anybody, is talking about uh, the black hole of uh, Freddie and Fannie. Now, both of them this week came out and, uh, or last week came out and announced massive losses in the first quarter of 2010. And in fact, they're asking for another $20 billion of taxpayer money to fund their losses. I'm going to attach a story to this video that explains exactly what's going on. What's going on here is the banksters that got us into this mess are laundering their bad debts through Fannie and through Freddie. It's a clearinghouse for them. They can take their toxic assets, give it to Freddie and Fannie, uh, in effect, not going through Congress, not even going through the Treasury. They can go give this debt to Freddie and Fannie, and it becomes the public's problem. That's why we're going to continue to see, uh, in perpetuity, losses with Freddie and Fannie, because it's going to fall on the backs of the taxpayers while the banksters get to unload their horrendous uh, products that they created in the first place. And don't forget, they got paid in full for those products to begin with. It's a criminal scam that has no end in sight, and just because uh, we bail out Greece doesn't mean that's the end of it. It's going to be country after country after country until the citizens, not only uh, of the United States, but the entire world are enslaved by these uh, manipulative criminals. I'll attach the stories, but for now, that's all I got.